Hi, I'm Marty Nemco. We play mind games with ourselves, and some are helpful, others not. We'll start with the helpful ones. If you use any of these and you find them helpful, great. And if not, maybe you want to try one or more of them. Creating an artificial deadline. Intellectually, you know that the thing isn't due f until a week from now, but you also know that if you don't do it now, you're going to procrastinate and risk doing a rush job or even not doing it at all. So you lie to yourself and say something like, i got to get this thing done by today, not negotiable. Another such often helpful mind game is suppressing a negative thought. Let's say you're waiting for a medical test result, or afraid you're going to be tongue-tied on a date, or even though you've prepared, you're scared of your upcoming job interview. So as soon as that hairy thought leaps to mind, you say stop to yourself and distract yourself with something fun or constructive. And the third uh, more positive, helpful mind game I want to share with you is pretending you're your best self. Like most people, you're insecure, at least under some circumstances. So as you're facing a difficult situation, you pretend you're not your insecure you, but you're your best, most confident self that you've ever been. Now let's turn to a harmful mind games. I'll share four with you. Um, these are worth watching out for. The first is hyper-monitoring your health. Of course, it's reasonable to monitor our health for new severe or otherwise scary changes, but it's not so lubricous to be hypervigilant. We all get myriad pains that are minor or transient. The hypermonitor benefits from the brain stimulation, but that benefit is dwarfed by the reduction in peace of mind. Another usually unhelpful uh, mind game is the maxing adrenaline. You get a shot of adrenaline by pushing the envelope. For example, you see how little work you can get away with, or you drive as fast as possible, or you allot the minimum time to do something so you can get the rush of racing against the deadline, whether you're keeping an appointment or doing what you promised you'd do. If the lust for um, uh, adrenaline becomes an addiction, that's both physically and mentally unhealthy. Plus, you're often going to end up failing to get tasks done on time because there's only one way that something takes the minimum time and myriad ways it can take longer. Another usually unhelpful mind game is um, zoning out. This one is the converse of that previous mind game, that ad addiction to adrenaline. We all need respites, even a bit of daydreaming. But as with mind-altering substances, some people need an increased dose, ever, ever increased dose, to get high, or in this case, to get low. So they spend more and more time spacing out. That mind game can yield such bad outcomes as not getting done what you need to get done, not being present in your interactions, or even can cause car accidents. And the final, usually unhelpful, mind game that we play on ourselves is deliberately triggering others. Some people, consciously or unconsciously, get off on triggering people. For example, knowing that someone is insecure about their intelligence, the miscreant makes a particularly cogent assertion and then asks the person to, to counter. That game can also be played passive-aggressively. You know, for example, Let's say you know your spouse loves when you're being responsible, so you deliberately do something irresponsible that affects your spouse, for example, quote, forgetting to pay bills. So, is there a helpful mind game that you want to be sure you continue to use? Is there a harmful mind game you want to banish from your mind? That's not such a bad New Year's resolution, actually. In any event, I do thank you for watching. I'm Marty Nemco. I welcome your thumbs up and accept your thumbs down. I always look forward to your comments and especially like you to hit the share button below. Share on your social media so that my efforts can have broader impact. And I am flattered if you choose to subscribe to my channel. In any event, I do thank you for watching. I am Marty Nemco.